So, what are first order linear differential equations? Well, a first order linear differential equation is any equation of the form dy over dx plus pxy is equal to q of x and px and q of x are both functions of x only. So, let me give the method to solve a first order linear differential equation. So, if you're given a first order linear differential equation of the form dy over dx plus pxy equals q of x. Step number one is to write your equation in what we call standard form. Okay, Now, standard form means that we need to write it in the form dy over dx plus pxy equals q of x, but the term in front of dy over dx, we need to make that equal to 1. Okay. So that is what I mean by standard form. So the coefficient of dy over dx in this equation should be 1. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you go to step number two. Now, step number two is to calculate what we call the integrating factor. And the integrating factor is abbreviated by the letters if. Okay. To work out the integrating factor, we use the formula uh, e to the power, so e is the exponential function, so it's e to the power, the integration of px with respect to x. And remember, px is the coefficient of y in your standard form equation, which I've named star. Okay, So that is where px comes from. Now, I've made another point that if the power... Um, when integrated contains an ln so if you integrate your px with respect to x and if the answer has an ln okay I would advise to go one stage further to simplify your integrating factor so if you're if you integrate your px and if your answer is in the form ln use the result e to the power ln a equals a to go one stage further okay so We'll see that in an example uh, very soon. So this is step number two, calculate the integrating factor. So once you worked out your integrating factor, here's step number three. Step number three is to multiply the equation in standard form. So remember, I've named the standard form equation star. So you need to multiply the equation star by the integrating factor, okay? So when I say multiply, you need to multiply that equation throughout by the integrating factor if, okay? Once you've done that, the next step, step number four. Now, the left-hand side of your equation, you can rewrite that using the product rule. So that can be rewritten using a product rule as d by dx of the integrating factor times y, okay? So when it comes to um, the completion of step three, step number four, rewrite the left-hand side of your equation using the product rule, and that could be always uh, be rewritten as d by dx of the integrating factor times y, okay? And that is equal to whatever you have on the right-hand side, okay? And the last step is step number five. Step number five is to integrate both sides in order to find the solution to your first order linear differential equation. OK, so if you observe the left hand term, when you integrate d by dx with respect to x, you're going to end up with the integrating factor times y. OK, and we need to use our integration knowledge, however, to integrate the right hand term. OK. So that's going to be a test of our integration skill when it comes to integrating the right-hand term, uh, in particular when it comes to step number five. Okay. So back to the paper and pen. So I have an example for us to look at. So example one is to solve the following differential equation. And in part A, it's x dy over dx plus y equals e to the power of x. Now, in the previous video, I solved first order differential equations. And when I did the examples, the very first step is to recognize what type of equation, or in particular, what type of differential equation you have. OK, so first of all, let me rearrange this differential equation and let's see whether we have 
an equation of the form dy over dx plus pxy is equal to q of x. So if you remember uh, the definition of what we mean by a first order linear differential equation, a first order linear differential equation is any equation of this type. Okay, So if we can rearrange this equation uh, into this form, we have a first order linear differential equation. Let me rearrange it into this form. So I'm going to simply divide by x. Okay, So if I divide every single term by x, we're going to have dy by dx plus y divided by x. And that is equal to e to the x over x. Okay, So as you can see, my equation here is of the form dy over dx plus pxy equals q of x. So my px is 1 over x. My qx is e to the x divided by x. So this equation that I have is a first order linear differential equation. Okay. Now, if I go quickly uh, to the screenshots, so remember step one of the method. Step one is to write our differential equation in standard form. So if we go back to the paper and pen, our equation here is already in standard form. And remember, standard form means the term in front of dy over dx in this equation should be 1. Okay? So since the coefficient of dy over dx here is already 1, this equation is already in standard form. Okay? So step 1 is already complete. And I'm going to call that standard form equation star. Now, if we go quickly back to the screenshot, step number two is to calculate the integrating factor, if. And remember the formula, if is e to the power integration of px with respect to x. Okay, So back to the paper and pen. So let's do that in step two. So integrating factor if. So if, remember, is e to the power integration of px with respect to x. And remember, px is the coefficient of y in equation star, which is your standard form equation. Okay. So the coefficient of y is plus 1 over x. Okay. So let me make a note of that in the corner. So it's plus 1 over x. So... If I replace px in this result here, I need to calculate e to the integration of px, which is 1 over x, with respect to x. And when you integrate 1 over x, that's a standard result, we're going to have ln x. Okay? Now, if we go... Uh, back to the screenshot quickly, I did say that if the power, when integrated, contains ln, simplify further. So use the result e to the power ln a equals a to go one stage further. So if we go back to the paper and pen, I have e to the ln x. So if I use that very result, e to the ln a is equal to a, that implies e to the ln x is equal to x okay so if you have ln as part of your power go one stage further okay so try and simplify and get a, re a simplified result for if okay now that takes us to step number three and if we go back to the screenshot step number three is to multiply the equation in standard form which is star by the integrating factor if. So we need to multiply throughout. So back to the paper and pen. Here is our standard form equation star. So if I multiply that equation throughout by the integrating factor x, so multiply star by if, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have x times dy over dx which is x dy by dx plus, okay, 1 over x times x is 1. 
so you're just going to have y, okay? That is equal to e to the x divided by x times x, which is e to the x, okay? So you need to multiply this equation in standard form throughout by your integrating factor, okay? So that takes us to step number four, okay? And if we go quickly to back to the screenshot, step number four, I said, by the product rule, the left-hand side can be always be rewritten as a d by dx of whatever your integrating factor is times y, okay? So in this case, if we go back to the paper and pen, this left-hand term, which I'm highlighting in green, I could rewrite that as d by dx of the integrating factor, that is x, times y, so it's always times y, so integrating factor times y. Let me make a note of that. So it's always d by dx of ify, okay? And that is equal to the term that we have on the right-hand side, which is e to the x, okay? So that takes us to the last step. The last step is step number five. And if we go back to the screenshot quickly, Step number five is to integrate both sides. So let's integrate both sides over here. So back to the paper and pen. So integrate both sides. So in this case, we need to integrate the left-hand term, which reads d by dx of uh, xy with respect to x. And we also need to integrate the right-hand term, which is e to the power of x with respect to x, okay? And remember, whenever you integrate d by dx with respect to x, you're going to get that term, okay, the original term. So for the left-hand side, we're just going to have xy. And that is equal to, when I integrate e to the x, that's a standard result. We're just going to have e to the x add c, okay? So I like to add my constant of integration on the right-hand side. So this solution that we have over here is a general solution to the first-order linear differential equation. So this is our general solution, okay? So that completes this example. So here are the five steps in order to solve a first order linear differential equation, but in particular to find the general solution. If we had values for x and y, we can find a particular solution, okay? But we'll see that in a future example, okay?